for one. If you've ever wanted to combine Tony Hawk with Call of Duty and throwing it all in some snow-covered mountains, then Biathlon Challenge delivers exactly that through fast-paced FPS platforming where every shot needs style points. Players race through deadly courses while chaining trick shots and stunts, building score multipliers that reward creativity over simple completion. The customization system embraces absurdity. Mix skis with shotguns, add a parachute, or even a cigar to your loadout. Each gear combination changes how you move and how you score, encouraging experimentation, and with hidden paths, secret objectives, and alternate routes, the game ensures every run offers new scoring opportunities and discoveries. Number two. Managing a European train service can become surprisingly engaging when passenger satisfaction directly impacts your bottom line. Train Jumble transforms public transportation into strategic puzzle solving where unhappy customers don't just complain, they ask to get off your terrible train, with three departures meaning game over. Players furnish train cars with everything from snack machines to music corners, keeping travelers satisfied while earning tips for upgrades. The progression system unlocks new modules after completing routes, letting you tackle increasingly challenging journeys across Bavaria and eventually much of Europe. It's part management sim, part customer service nightmare, and all-out chaos aboard your own Happiness Express. And if you're looking to make a game in the Gato Engine but you're always on the go, you should check out the sponsor of this video, Zogo. Zogo brings the full power of the Gato Engine right to your iPad. With full GDScript support, 3D and 2D scene editors, and latest release updates, basically everything you love about Gato. Now with native iPad Touch and UI controls and Apple Pencil support. Projects sync seamlessly with your desktop, and of course the app makes it even easier to test your games on mobile. Just build, run, and debug directly on your iPad. Plus, if you're already using something like Procreate or Nomad Sculpt for your game assets, you can just drop them straight into Zogo. The app comes with tons of starter projects to get you going, and if you're a student, you can grab a free subscription. For everyone else, you can take it for a test drive with a free one-week trial. It's a really cool project with tons of work behind it, so you can learn more with my link in the description. Back to the games. Number three. Architect of the Union is a post-apocalyptic city builder that puts you directly in the action rather than watching from above. As the architect, you physically run between buildings, command armies, and face enemies head-on while managing resources and construction. Days are spent gathering food, wood, and metal to expand your settlement, but nights bring escalating attacks that test your defensive preparations. The tactical combat system requires specific counters for different threats, making each building placement crucial for survival. And beyond base management, there's an interactive overworld that offers levels, secrets, and character interactions that drive the larger narrative forward through this hostile wasteland. If you've ever wondered if you'd dig being a rock, try Rock Digger, a game that starts you as a humble stone with no legs, no life, and somehow an infinite supply of pickaxes to hurl at walls. This cozy mining adventure takes place across procedurally generated alien worlds where the only enemy is environmental hazards. You have lava pits, crushing darkness, and your own mistakes. Alchemy lets you upgrade your rocky body with discovered alien technologies, evolving from simple mineral to rock deity, while mini games and puzzles break up the digging, and multiple planets offer unique biomes and secrets waiting underground. No timers, no monster attacks, just pure excavation zen. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Surf's Up. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. Destructible terrain changes everything in this tactical combat game where dozens of unique weapons create limitless interaction possibilities. Galaxy Tactics is a Worms-esque game that emphasizes strategic planning and team cooperation as players manage expansive arsenals while monitoring energy and jetpack fuel over ever-changing battlefields. Each Elite Ranger brings unique abilities that you can unlock through leveling gaining access to new weapons, 
stat upgrades, and customization options. Maps can vary from windy deserts to acidic oceans, with destructible environments ensuring no two matches play identically. Multiple game modes cater to different moods. Quick casual games, competitive ranked matches, monthly tournaments, and offline practice sessions with adjustable difficulty. The graphics look sharp, and it looks like there's plenty of destruction to be had.